New at 10, there is a growing concern tonight about a spike in hepatitis among kids. And now the Alabama Department of Public Health and the CDC are taking a closer look now at how it affects kids. Wait to do one's Xavier where he joins us live now with more details after speaking with one local health official. Xavier. Hey, Nikhil. So the name of the virus is adenovirus. And so far in the state of Alabama, nine children under the age of 10 have tested positive for the virus, two of which have needed a liver transplant. And it's a virus that's been around for quite some time. However, this one is cause for concern. Dr. Wes Stubblefield of the Alabama Department of Public Health says adenovirus commonly appears in children. Symptoms typically range from pink eye infections, cold symptoms, and gastrointestinal illnesses like nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. But the adenovirus that's grabbed the attention of health officials is a bit worrisome. This particular adenovirus has been associated with, um, with not only nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea in these children, but also with liver injury. And that's been the concerning feature. Dr. Stubblefield says at the moment they don't have all the facts about this adenovirus. This adenovirus 41 has not um, in the past been associated with liver injury, although it has been associated with gastrointestinal upset. Um, there have been uh, more serious types of adenovirus, particularly type 7, but that's more of a respiratory illness. Um, so we're not exactly sure what, what's going on with this, with this adeno, adenovirus 41. Health officials found the first case of adenovirus in November and the most recent case in February. So the question is, why is this a cause of concern two months later? Now we're starting to see some cases that look similar and have similar, potentially similar causes overseas. So we're, we're cautiously optimistic, but we're, we're watching closely. And that's why we want providers to be aware so that they can help report to us any, any adult or child who has uh, these symptoms that, so they could, they could potentially know how to test them so we can, um, so we continue to evaluate. Stubblefield says hygiene issues are the cause of illnesses like this one. Most viruses that cause uh, uh, diarrheal type illnesses are generally con uh, transmitted by, um, you know, hygiene issues, you know, things like um, not cleaning your hands properly. And uh, especially if you've been sick, you know, if you've, if you've uh, had diarrhea, or if you have a child who di has diarrhea, or who's in a diaper or, um, uh, you know, has is younger and has toileting issues or, or maybe have trouble washing their hands. All of these things can be risk factors for, for getting sick. Now, this is something that Dr. Stubblefield says that they are watching over, over very closely at the moment. It's something that they just don't have a lot of information on at this time. But we're live in Huntsville, Xavier Wary, More 31 News.